everyone, welcome back to the park. Hope you're having an awesome day. Back here in Dragonvale, continuing on with the Arcane Pen Tournament. And we're just loading up. We got a twin dragon here to start. That's cool. I think that's a flower dragon. And another twin dragon. I'm not sure what this one is. But we're going to get going with the Arcane Tournament. And the first thing off at the beginning here we're going to do is the arena and get that going and we got water and fire on one side and light and lightning on the other side now some people are taking my dragon with the two elements on the left and French dragons with the two elements on the right but some people have combined all four elements for both sides so it's you know try and see what works best for you I've been doing the for example, the water and light uh, fire on my dragons, and then the light, lightning and light on the friends' dragons. Um, it's been working pretty good for me so far. But if you want to combine them, go right ahead and, and give it a try. Okay, so my dragons, we're going to use a coral dragon. And we'll go get that. There he is right there at the top, or she. Avon. And... For the friends dragons, you're really at the mercy of what your friends have put up. So we're going to see what we can find. So for light and lightning, we're going to go with this gamma dragon here. This is a perfect dragon to use. And we'll hit start and get our arena going. And then we'll collect our coins from our parade. And this maxed out at 60. Remember it goes, uh, maxes out uh, every 4 hours. If you have all 5 dragons in there, 3 gems per hour for each dragon. So that works out to 4 hours. Uh, in our games, we are at 10 tries, and we're going to do the match, make a match game, and do the little trick that we mentioned in our previous video. So we're going to turn it off this card, and that's the torch, and then we'll just quit out of the game, and we can go over and visit our friend's park, and then come back and turn over another card. So we're going to do that a bit later on, so we, and, but for now we're going to continue on with all the other stuff in the tournament and we're going to make a wish here. And it's getting a bit higher today, although you can barely see this scroll bar. So it's going to go up in pretty high digits before it's done. I'm thinking we won't get our wish until close to the end or right at the end of the tournament. But it all depends on how many people make a wish. So we're going to cash out our food, get some rings from our food, and then restart our food here. Get them all going again, and if they finish before you reset and have maxed out, just keep doing your food over and over if you have enough coins to do it. It's a great way to get uh, some extra coins. But I found the best the best uh, places to get your coins in the park are with your quest and your your egg breeding as you'll see at the end of this one. We've got two keys in Gia's quest and we're going to pick the, let's try the third chest here. And we got a good price on the third chest, that's awesome. 525,000 coins. And you see we got 40 rings from the quest which is excellent. And usually, and it's a double weekend, that's why we're getting so many. And we're getting four rings for each of those gems. And then we'll cash out a few of these habitats. And then we'll finish Cairo's quest here. And we got one key. So we didn't pick the best dragon for that quest. And we missed our gem in the middle. That's lousy. Could have had a gem there. And I don't want to buy that food for five gems. So we got 40 rings off of that quest as well. And we're going to... Oh, we got... G uh, Kairos is activated. Does that mean Gia is activated as well? Yes. Gia is activated also. All the eggs are done. So we're going to... We're going to hatch... Uh, pedestal or sell those eggs. And we're going to start a new quest... Year of the Bull. Year of the Bull, really? Okay, cool. 
Where's the year of the bull? That's going to be one of the galactic dragons. The, I think you pronounce it Tedian dragon. So let's go get that dragon right there. And start the quest with Kairos. And we're going to start the quest on Gia next. And what's this one? The Tuber Trouble quest. Tuber Trouble is a root dragon, and the root dragon is a dark dragon. And there is a root dragon, and we'll start the quest with Gia. Going on a new quest. How long is this going to take? Oh, only a two hour quest. So we'll come back and start another quest and be able to get 40 rings from this, uh, this quest right here. Okay, let's check out our eggs, and we have the new Iron Blossom Dragon, and of course we're going to hatch that one, and that goes into a plant or metal habitat. So let's make some room in one of our metal habitats, and see what dragons we can put in the hibernation cave. I'll take a look around. A lot of these dragons I like to keep out, but I think I have a couple of forge dragons out. Oh, there's another... So I have a, a mine dragon here, and I have a mine dragon in this habitat. So let's... Where was it? In this habitat. There's another mine dragon. So what level is this? is 15. We're going to move this mine dragon over to the hibernation cave. And then hatch our new cool iron blossom dragon. Put him in the... Bam, just like that. Put him in the metal habitat. And go get some gems, and get a couple of gems by doing that. And then we'll go into our habitat, and we'll level up our new Iron Blossom Dragon. We can see him or her grow. There's the adolescent. And then we're going to, oh, that looks like the adult size now. So we go up to level 20. Why not? There we are, level 20 Iron Blossom Dragon. I'll turn off the crown and we can just see the Iron Blossom. That's an awesome looking dragon. Awesome. That's very cool. We got that in the park now. There's our Iron Blossom right there. Only, geez, I don't know. I think there's 10 dragons in this event. There are 10 new dragons in this event, so only 8 more to go. And let's go back to the rest of these eggs. And a salamander dragon, which we have plenty of. I'm going to say yes to selling that one. And same with the thorn dragon. We got two and two, so we're going to sell this thorn dragon. And we have a hybrid, and we're good with that dragon. So it seems we're selling all our dragons. And the smoke dragon, we need a twin pedestal, which we haven't got yet, so we're going to sell that dragon. We've got lots of rings off all those dragons. And then we're going to see what we have from our breeding cave and it looks like a water dragon we're trying with a little, the bouquet in the swamp, we're still trying for the another fates dragon and here we're trying for the labradorite dragon here but I think we're going to change that and try for one of the uh, the new uh, the new dragons in the event and this is trying for this is trying for the um, the squall dragon. And let's see if we got the squall dragon here. I don't know. No, we did not get the squall dragon. Not yet. So we're going to try. Now the squall dragon's gone. Whoever was breeding with changed the dragon to another dragon. So let's see what else we have here. Is a fates dragon. We could try the hidden bolt dragon. So we're going to breed our Verglace with the Lace in hopes of getting the Lace Dragon. And I'm not sure what the breed time is on the Lace Dragon. But uh, hopefully it's 10 hours. <laughs> but I don't think it is. So in our epic breeding island we're just going to retry this one going for the Labradorite Dragon again. Did it go? There it is. 
Dragons are hidden behind the tree there. And then we'll cash out the rest of our coins. Let's go get some more rings from all these habitats. And what we're trying to do each day is max out our coins with the normal things that you do every day in the park, like cashing out coins and breeding dragons, buying habitats and buying dragons, all that kind of stuff. If you're having trouble getting rings or maxing out on your rings, one thing you can try doing is just buying a plant dragon because they hatch really fast and then selling it and then buying it again and selling it and buying it again selling it. And you should get a few rings each time you do that. We're almost done cashing out and getting some rings. Here's our Rainbow Island getting some rings off of the Rainbow Island. And one more Rainbow Island over here. Okay, that's all our rings and uh, coins from our habitats. Let's go check our Colosseum. It's still going. It's almost done in 45 minutes. So we still have to wait for that to finish. And you do get a lot of rings from the Colosseum. You get 25 on normal days and, uh, of course, 50 on the twin weekends or the double weekends. So definitely keep your Colosseum going every day uh, and try to use those high-level dragons in the Colosseum. Now we're going to go look, zoom in a little bit, and we're going to go look for the banner bearer in our park for our, the dragon, or the house that we have uh, joined. A little hard to see on this island, because it's a bit darker. But uh, that would be, oh, there's a banner bearer right there, but that's one of the elder dragon banner bearers. So we keep looking around for this banner bearer, and it should give you, on a double weekend, you should get 50 coins. There's another one, but it looks like the light dragon banner bearer. Got 20,000 coins off that guy. And there's another one. We'll find a lot of the elder dragon banner bearers, but not our house dragon. Which is the blazing gale. Trying to find that one Blazing Gale banner bearer. There's another one. Another Elder Dragon banner bearer. You just have to find the, the one with all the rings. Now if you don't find them, you know, don't uh, spend a lot of time looking, just uh, go do something else. Quit the game or do something else in the game and come back a little later on and try looking again and you might find it without spending too much time. There's another one. And that's him, or her. I got one gem. So that means there's two of them. If you tap on the visitors button, it'll tell you that banner bearers from your house are in your park, so they're still there. So we got one and a gem from that one. So there's another one walking around with rings. So we'll just take a few more seconds here to see if we can find this elusive banner bearer. And if we don't, then we're just gonna move on and come back later on and look for Look for the elusive banner bearer. And they're also up on this this uh, Easter Island here. So don't forget to look there. And there's a whole lot of visitors here, but I don't see a banner. Oh, there's a plant banner bearer. So 
So that's good. You're getting lots of elder banner bearers. If you have elder dragons in your park, you'll you'll have the elder banner bearers every single day, even when the event is over or the tournament, as I like to call it. Okay, we'll come back and uh, I'll come back later and see if I can find the the other banner bearer because that's a good 50 rings right there. So we're going to go do a few dragon races. And we have the Winding Winds race with air and cold. And we're going to use a blizzard or a snow dragon. Whichever comes up in the list, there's a snow dragon right there. And we're going to go and race the snow dragon in the Winding Winds dragon race. And they're off Got another smaller snow dragon out on the outside. It's keeping up really well with my snow dragon. But now we're moving out in front. We got some really good taps here. And he's racing down the track into first place. Got a couple of keys, and let's see if we can pick the right chest and cash out. Well, we got the top two prizes. So we picked the right chest that time. We'll try one more race here. And the fungal tumble with dark and earth. Okay, for the fungal tumble, we're going to use the cave or the root dragon. Those are both good dragons for dark and earth elements. So I'd like to do the cave if I can find the cave here. But if I can't, then I'll use the root. Oh, there's a cave. Perfect. Let's go race the cave. He's hilarious to watch run. And they're off. They're all neck and neck. The cave's lagging behind here. You gotta get some good taps. And he's moving out in front. Past the howl. And he's getting way out in front. Look at him screaming. Ah! <laughs> First place. There we go. Two keys. And let's try number two, chest, and let's see, number three, 51. Oh, low end on the prizes there, but we got some good ones. Okay, to wrap things up here, we're going to do our featured dragon, and our featured dragon is going to be our new dragon that we added to the park today. That's part of the Arcane Pen Tournament event, and that is the awesome Iron Blossom Dragon. And you can see he's up to level 20 here. He doesn't get too high of an income. Incubation time 22 hours like all the other uh, all the other uh, house dragons. And motto of the house dragon sewn and forged. And you can get some more info just reading the rest of that. And uh, it's a plant and metal dragon and it's uh, pretty easy to breed. We got it the first try with a thorn and another friend's iron blossom dragon in the co-op breeding cave. Uh, if you've chosen the iron blossom house, then you will already have gotten the iron blossom dragon. So that's two ways to get them, is to breed them in the co-op if you don't have them, if you chose a different house, or if you chose that house, you've already got the iron blossom dragon. It's a great awesome looking dragon. I really like it. I'm glad I got it in, a, in the park. We just have a, a few more dragons to get from this uh, tournament and uh, we'll just keep working away on the co-op breeding cave. I hope we get the lace, the lace dragon uh, after a few tries and it doesn't prove to be too difficult. Otherwise we'll move on to another dragon. There's actually, believe it or not, there's actually people other players that have all the dragons already. Either, uh, I don't know how they got them all, whether they bred them all or bought them or or how they got them, but they have all the dragons in the park already, which is phenomenal. Okay, we've just finished the match game trick and going back and forth between the match game and visiting friends parks uh, to get the party hats. And it took us about 40 minutes to do the entire match game and reveal the cards and go back and forth. 
Uh, so, like I said, it is a long process, but I'm just going to show you the results of that process of going back and forth, flipping a card, one card, visiting a French park, coming back, flipping another card. So now I have all the cards flipped over and revealed. I know where all the matches are, and I'm just going to go and open up all the matches, and you can see how great a trick this is if you do have the time to do it and then there's let me see there's a wand here and here and there's a flag here and a flag here there's a wreath here and a wreath there and then there's another wreath here and a wreath here and there's a flag. I gotta be careful, make sure you turn over the right cards each time. And then there's a cup here and a cup here, and then the two hats down here at the bottom. And the game's finished, all complete. Still have 10 tries. And if we'd like to play again, we can just start the whole process over again. We still have 10, 10 tries. One idea might be to do this once, because it does take 40 minutes. And if you just keep doing it, uh, it's going to take up a few hours of your time. So maybe do it once and then go out of the match game and go into one of the other games. Maybe the Name That Dragon game. Let's try that one. Now that's definitely the Nightmare Dragon. And that looks like the Sand Dragon to me. And we'll go again. And we've reached our daily ring limit, 7,300, just by playing that game. And we got 35 rings replacing your gifts. And we also still have 1 minute and 45 seconds left for the arena. So when that's done, that's going to go into our gifts above what our max is for the day. And we haven't collected our our giveaway gallery gift. So we're going to do that and see if that goes into our gifts as well. You open the gift. We got 50 coins today. And I think that's going to go into our gifts. If we check our... Oh no, I'm sorry. It goes above our max. So now we have 7350. That's interesting. Because the game hasn't reset, but it will give you the 50 rings above your daily max. How about that? I didn't know that. That's good to know. And our parade is still going, but I'm not going to cash that out because it will just start going again when the game resets. That's what I'm thinking anyways. So there you have it. There's the match game trick to save a bunch of turns and if I didn't max out, I would have been able to play the name that dragon game all the way through as well until I ran out of turns. Um, but the results of the match game, you get 340 rings from from the game by playing the game and then going back and forth between your your friends parks and collecting the collecting the party hats will give you 180 rings because you get 10 for each time you visit a park and we did it 18 times because there's 18 cards in the in the game and also you'll get the coins by collecting three party hats you get coins for each party hat as well and one party hat has the rings in it so you do end up getting a few more coins also so it's a pretty good way to do it if you have the time um, to spend which is the 40 minutes that's how long it took me uh, and you can see our parade's done here, so we're going to collect the 200 from that parade. And it says, well done, and we're going to send some rings to the other person in the, in the, in the uh, arena. And I obtained the maximum rings, so 200 rings went into my gift. So they're, they're banking those 200 rings for the next day. So you've basically gone 250 rings above the daily max by doing things uh, this way, maxing out and then finishing the arena. So now when the game resets, I'll have the arena 
ready to go again. I'll just start the arena right after the game resets tomorrow. So that wraps things up for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. Please leave a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe for more Dragon Veil vale videos. And we'll see you guys next time.